Nevada will begin 2020 as the second state in the country to ban animal testing for cosmetics. The Nevada Cruelty Free Cosmetics Act goes into effect January 1st. But as Contact 13's Trisha Keen shows us, the transition is already well underway. Slowly but surely, companies are coming around. Stephanie Amar is excited to see a growth in cruelty-free and environmentally friendly products. As a vegan, she says, using eco-friendly brands is extremely important to her, but it's not easy. It was very difficult. Um, I only had one lady before and, and she left, moved out of state, and so there wasn't really anyone who, who understood that products could be cruelty-free. Stephanie eventually found Nails Envy, providing vegan-friendly, non-toxic, tin-free nail polish. Manicurist Karen Aguirre says a good 85% of their clients, especially young mothers, are looking for a healthy alternative. They basically love the concept that uh, what they're putting in, the, in their bodies is not going to be harmful for them or for their, their children. I think a lot of the um, typical like nail salon culture is, is very chemical heavy. I want it to be as eco-friendly as possible um, while still being able to you know, look beautiful and have manicures and pedicures. So this is very nice and light to you. Erica Kimball is a local dermatology nurse practitioner who says many of her patients are also looking for alternatives. Cruelty free and vegan and paraben free. According to market research group Mintel, the vegan cosmetics market is booming with 175% growth between July of 2013 and June of 2018. Kimball is part of that surge. I watched my patients come in with like bags of products of you know, and I look at what they're bringing me and I'm like, you know, these are really all the same thing. That's why creating her own brand, currently called Beauty Lab, she's expanding into more cruelty-free options under the new name, Parasol Dermaceuticals. Feedback has been really great. Kimball says she finds many of her patients suffering from adverse effects due to the ingredients found in a lot of traditional products. Some chemicals like talc and parabens and, you know, fragrances and colors that people may be allergic to or bother their skin. In the end, it's potential customers like Stephanie who are fueling a major change in the cosmetics industry. I want to support businesses that do cruelty-free products that are aware of their impact with the products that they choose. For Contact 13, I'm Trisha Keen.